Hi, this is Anne with Fiber Designs by Anne, and I'm going to show you today how I painted fabric using photo printer paper. And I'm using paper that was for printing photographs, and we don't do that now, so I have these extra pieces of paper, and they have a shiny, glossy surface. I'm also going to use 100% cotton fabric. It's about the same size as the paper. These will just be little, little pieces. And I'm using paint. Now, this is acrylic paint. I know that my yellow is um, jacquard textile color for fabric, of course, and I have to be honest, and I don't know what these others are. They're some kind of acrylic. I don't know if they're jacquard or if they're just a basic acrylic. So I'm going to start with one of the sheets, photograph paper sheets, and one of the pieces of fabric. And I'm going to use the yellow and the red on this one. And I did this before and they were in a tray and they sort of tilted so it kind of all ran. I have a mist bottle in case I want to make them travel a little bit more. This is pretty thin consistency, just kind of watery in fact. I should say that um, with these, these are a little older and they leave kind of speckles. I, and I'm okay with that. I like the way it that gives a little more texture to the painting. I don't expect this to do it. I know that it's the paint and not the paper that caused that. So I'll start with the yellow. Then I'll just just kind of play. Now I could make it run by lifting this and I think before I do that I'm going to throw some red on there. Could spray water on there at this point. I'm going to tilt it. Tilt it again. Well, that's kind of cool, and I see there's some glare. I apologize. I think I'm going to put some more yellow down here really be kind of heavy with it this time. And then maybe add some dots. Okay, well, yeah, you can see what I was talking about with the speckles. The red's causing the speckles. I really like that, though. It's just much more interesting. You could use a brush and make this cover the entire surface with maybe one color and then add something else. You could, let me see what I have here, let me just use a dropper that happens to be close by. You could give it some direction, causing some other designs. It's pretty endless. The one thing you want to do though, I'm going to pull some color down here because I don't have anything going on is that you don't want to wait for it to get dry. It's soaking in here and I may have waited already too long. The one thing you could do is mist it if you think it's gotten too dry. Now I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to just hold it. Well, you can drop it this way. Maybe I'll do that. Set it on an edge and let it fall down in here. If you have what I didn't bring, which would be like the back of a spoon, we could use something else. We'll try this little container that I just happen to have here. And then at this point you could spritz it with water again. Leaving little paint marks from the bottom of this. So what you end up with is not only this paper, uh, excuse me, this fabric, which I do a lot more on, on this, but you end up with some funky paper too. I don't know how color fast the paint is on this paper. I haven't experimented with that. Um, but on the fabric, it's just like any acrylic on the fabric. I'm going to do another, another piece on here. And I haven't done this before where I've taken the fabric off and then added another color. I've kind of just done all the colors at once. 
Now the question is, do I want to put a design in there? Oh my goodness, so many choices. Let's see. Let's just push it. Push it. Maybe I'll drop the drop the fabric on it. And I'm going to go in the same direction I was as far as I'm this big area is on the fabric in about the same place, but it won't be exactly the same and that's okay. Oh, I like it on the on the paper. That's cool. And it's pretty neat on the fabric. I could probably still get it to move if I wanted to. Um, spritz some water on it. <clears throat> I think I'm going to, let's see, what, what do I want to try? I'm going to maybe put a little more yellow. Oops, that was a very generous amount that I didn't intend. I probably should shake this. But you can't do anything wrong. These are background fabrics. They're neat for, for maybe putting embroidery on. This fabric's a tightly woven uh, fabric that I don't especially like embroider hand, doing hand embroidery through, but free motion quilting would be great. Let's see. Maybe I'll turn this around and put it in a different area. So it just gives me another layer without really making it heavier to sew through, which is always an issue with me and layers. Oh, I'm really liking this. And you could do another overwash over the whole thing. You can see how the red, because it's older, gives this little speckle. Okay, so I'm going to try another piece. This dries pretty quickly on here. And you can use this paper in something else. Really fun. So we'll try one more. This time I'm going to just use the red and the, excuse me, the green and the blue. I might throw yellow in there. We'll see. I could take a brush across this. I'm really tempted to try, but this is just going to be kind of a quick, and then I'll show you what I'm doing with a piece that I created before. I think I'm going to spritz that one time. We'll see what happens. Might be a bad idea, but we'll see. Okay, I'm loving that. Now we'll see if I can get, get that to show up on my fabric. That'll be great fun. All these little, little blooms happening there. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I need to hit it again right here. Too much I'll end up with, oh, it maybe one color, but... So fun. Okay, before it all goes together, I'm going to try and catch it here. Oh, it was a little off, but now I could leave that and there'd be more white, but I'm going to use this. I might just be spreading the paint around. We'll see if it's a bad idea. That paper seems to hold the paint pretty well, and so it doesn't move, move with the object I'm burnishing it with. Let me scoot this this way. Wow, that's really pretty. Now, I'm going to drag it across and I might get that paint on it, but I'm going to just be okay with that happening, just so I can show you better. Oh, and I love the little speckles that happen because of that paint being older. Yeah. Oh, I'm really happy. So that's just another, and, and again, this paper could probably be used in some kind of project. So I'm going to show you another piece that I have and how I'm going to do a little free motion quilting uh, a fish actually on it. I decided there wasn't enough going on with the first piece I did, so I added some more red and, and I like it a lot better. I also wanted to use up some of this paint because it was old and so I made a couple other pieces and here they are. And I'm going to, so this is already long enough, I'm going to go ahead and make another video showing how I used a fabric that I use this technique 
I hope you'll watch that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. Be sure and tap the bell to get my notifications for my newest videos. This has been Anne. Thanks a lot for watching.